Hey, what's up guys? It's Ali here. Now today, I'm going to be doing something I don't usually do on my channel. I'm actually commentating over a pre-recorded video. So, I was recently having fun playing Iron Banner because Iron Banner is out for uh, Destiny, if you guys don't know that. Um, and I've been really trying to dabble into the Crucible side of things because I've been more of a PvE guy for Destiny. And, you know, I really want to jump to the PvP side just to see how it is and also kind of have fun with it because, I'm, you know, I like to play Call of Duty and that's more about, you know, just PvP of uh, player versus player. And I really want to get into the Destiny side and get really good at uh, Destiny as well. And, it, of course, you know, there's there's kind of a learning curve because the whole movement system and the way the abilities and guns are. It's just it's something you got to learn and pick up. So I've been, kind of you know, kind of spending my time playing Crucible and been having a lot of fun recently, which is really good. I'm glad I've been having fun, you know, using the Crucible. But during my time of playing Iron Banner, um, I was able to, or fortunately, um, you know, fortunate enough to actually get some good gameplay with the Universal Remote, which is actually one of the guns I was not really good with. The Universal Remote and the No Land Beyond were actually the two weapons I've been trying to practice with because those are two weapons I, w I am not really actually good with. Uh, but the fact is I'm able to get some good gameplay with them is actually kind of... Uh, kind of you know fun for me and it, it excited me and i just want to share it with you guys so in this gameplay you guys are obviously going to see the universal remote in action and uh it's just kind of talking about the universal remote kind of shedding some light on it for people that don't know what the universal remote is and also giving us some you know recommendations and tips to uh, pair with the universal remote itself and so if you guys don't know what the universal remote is it's a shotgun that you can use in your primary slot um it's an exotic uh, it, it does allow you to free up your special or your secondary slot or whatever your special slot, and you can so you can put like a sniper or a sidearm, you know something that works with it. Which I definitely recommend using a sidearm. It seems like it pairs well. If you miss a shot, you can use a switch to sidearm to finish them off. But it's definitely a good weapon to use. I definitely uh, suggest, you know, the kind of gameplay and game style you want to go with this is definitely being close quarters. Um, you can do long range, but you just kind of like, you got zig you got zigzag in between obstacles to like really get out of the enemy's line of sight because if you are in the line of sight, you are going to get gunned down pretty fast. But if you're able to, you know, kind of sway in and out of their line of sight and really get close to them, you should be pretty uh, good with the universal remotes. But I do want to say that the one cool thing about this is that the gameplay itself with the Universal Remote is actually very fun and super rush heavy, which is actually one of the play styles I like to do the most is because I'm more of a rusher um, in Call of Duty, so it was kind of something I want to, you know, figure out and learn in Destiny because uh, it... You know, it's just one of the game styles I like to that I enjoy to play with. Uh, it feels like I'm more in the action more often, which is uh, one of the fun things and I that I enjoy about Call of Duty, and it's kind of fun that I was able to bring over to Destiny. Um, but yeah, well, like I said before, you know, just kind of you want to swing in and out of the line of sights of your enemy or your enemy's line of sight, so you don't really get pegged down uh, by them shooting at you. Um, but another thing I, w I would like to say is definitely. Uh, try your best to unlock the universal remote perk itself. The reason why is because if you aim down sight, you do get a, a slight boost to damage and range, which is uh, definitely something you want with the universal remote. It does have really decent range uh, by itself, but it definitely complements the gun more just to be able to get some of that uh, range uh, down sight and range down further when you're aiming down sight, which is definitely a good thing. But definitely one of the things you should try doing the most is shooting and meleeing. One of the things I like to do the most with my warlock is when I'm close with them and I shoot them with the universal remote and I have them really hurt, I like to finish them off with melee. But of course it's kind of where the sidearm comes in. Other than that, I've been having a lot of fun with this uh, this weapon, the universal remote. It's been, uh, it's just been super fun to use and I, I just, once again, I just love the game style and gameplay that you can get with it. It's just, uh, you know, one of those things where it allows you to rush and be free and it really allows you to be creative with your engagements what I actually think I like the most with this weapon is it allows you to really, if, if, if you're good enough with rushing, you're able to really control the engagements that you get into and kind of control how the flow is uh, when you're in a gunfight with somebody, which I like the most. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. That's what I want to say about the Universal Remote is that um, that's pretty fun to use. And I definitely recommend using it. If you guys do use it, I definitely recommend pairing it with a sidearm. And try to also, uh, you know, kind of, you know, go for the melees. Make sure if you get them hurt, try to fin finish them off the melee. Because it's definitely going to be within that range where you can one-hit melee them after you shoot them with the Universal. But once again, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out.